So, um, I'm basically alone in my college apartment complex, and it's pretty cool. Uh, I'll show you the hallways. But the thing is, everybody's <clears throat> everybody's out for a break right now. It's December. You know how it is. Everybody wants to go home. And I realize, you know, this is a perfect time to work. I mean, look, the elevator. I haven't accessed it in like about three hours, and it goes back to the bottom floor when somebody comes in the building. Now this happens all the time when people, you know, go up to the third floor when there's a lot of, you know, times, uh, a lot of people time that go up. What am I saying? <laughs> there's a lot of times that people go up in the elevator when it's during school. So that means I always have to wait for the elevator to come up and wait. But now I literally could just access the elevator myself. That just means that nobody is here. And it's much less awkward for me to be recording this, what I'm doing right now. I decided I want to document more of my life because I really love to rap. I love to make music. I love to, more than anything, to engage with other people. And I just want to show you my journey. I mean, I come down here every day, get some hot chocolate or whatever. And I, I don't know, I just make raps, make music. and. One of the big bases, <clears throat> big foundations that I have in my rap channel, especially, is I I want to be real with everybody. Like, like if you want, if you like mumble rap or you like trap rap or like you like freestyle rap or J Cole or Drake or whoever you like, that's cool. But I, I <clears throat> all I want to do, whether whatever my song is, all I want to do is is give you what's real, like give you what's my life, like stuff that I rap about. That's literally me. <laughs> like, there's no other way to put it. I mean, just look at this. Look, at, I have this whole parking lot to myself. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, never mind. But look, it's usually, you know, just me. Just working, I guess. And I hope that you could be part of this journey with me. And if, because if I do become big one day, which I, I, I believe I will. I want you to know that <clears throat> it wasn't easy. And I was grinding as much as any other person does. Like, I work hard. I mean, the reason I'm coming out right now is because I need to get some chicken or some food. Any type of food that could feed my stomach. Because I'm hungry, man. Sometimes I go, like, I don't know why I could eat food whenever I want, but, like, I could go like 11 hours and I realized I, I didn't eat, especially during these break times, because I don't, I don't have food. <laughs> but I'm blessed, you know, I have this little, this little Honda Accord. It's dope, I love it. I used to have a Toyota Corolla, you can, you can hear that in some of my old songs. Really, really old songs. The little Corolla. By the way, did you know, apparently it's not illegal to have this light on while you're driving? <laughs> I always used to think that as a kid and I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get in trouble. My mom always used to yell at me. I'm not accustomed to uh, to leaving the car warm either. I don't, I don't let it warm up, but since you know we're having this little <clears throat> vlog or whatever, this would be the perfect opportunity to you know, sit down for a little bit with you guys and say, wow, life is amazing. I, I love life. I mean, you, got, you can't take this for granted, people. Sometimes I get sad because, like, I wish I, wish I could do more things in the day. I wish I, there was more than 24 hours to, to, to have fun in this life that, that, I, that I've had. You know, I'm 20 years old. And I'm more excited now than ever than I, than I ever was. I mean, looking back, yeah, I had fun as a kid. I was able to do whatever I want, play basketball all the time. But this is a new, exciting chapter of my life. I feel like this is like the, the news, like the new page that I finally get to delve into. And I've been making music for about two years. 
now is when I'm starting to realize that it's paying off. I mean, I don't, I'm not a millionaire. I don't have billions of views. I don't have the attention that XX has or, or J. Cole or Drake has, but people are starting to realize I'm really about this and that's what makes me the happiest. People are starting to realize, wow, Mr. Uspa is really putting in the work because I bet that what they expected to happen was to me make a couple songs, me make a couple garbage things, and then just stop. And that's what happens with most people. But it's been a good two years, and I've been coming out with more stuff. I've been coming better. I'm working. I'm grinding. I'm going harder. And it's paying off because... Where I only used to get one view, I'm getting 40. That means that's a 40 times increase rate. And I'm no mathematician. I'm in college for actuary science and risk management. There's a lot of math involved. But to me, a 40 times increase per video is a great increase. Now imagine two more years, 40 times a 40. Think about it. Now you know it doesn't always increase that way. But you can get a pretty good idea of how it's gone and every single day you know I'm learning new things realizing new things and and once you start opening your mind to this game it starts to become easier and easier and easier and easier I remember uh, I remember uh, never listening to, to the uh, radio station you know for a while now like a year or two or like basically my whole life I really never like listening to pop like it's like oh it's annoying it's a new it's a new song but they play it a thousand times but I realized it could help me help me understand what gets popping what kind of vibes what kind of music what kind of what kind of uh, uh, melodies that that gets people to listen and when I realized that, I can, I'm like, I can start incorporating this into my music. Start putting it into like what I'm doing, like, uh, in a love as a pure, and I'm not, and I'm sure, whatever that it may be. And I can start incorporating it into my own sound, not copying, obviously, but just like, yo, I'm gonna put this in my song, this rhythm, this re me melody, and, and that's what I realize people do. It's just like sampling. It's just like looking at Biggie and be like, yeah, you know, let's do this, let's do that, uh, let's let's put this word here. Born sinner, opposite of a winner, and just stuff like that. And the car is warming up now, so I don't know how I'm gonna do this because I don't have any fancy technology. But hopefully, hopefully, I could buy it. Uh, you know, don't don't say I'm driving reckless just because I'm driving and talking like this. Always put your lights on, kids. Uh, I'm not I'm gonna try not to look at the camera drive pretty slow so I could drive and talk But anyway uh, What I, the main segment that I was thinking that I wanted to talk about during this was Why I cut my hair? I mean if you if you know who I am if you seen me before Wow one person. Oh looks like he's going home for the weekend and the next three weeks If you know me, I've been growing out my hair for about <clears throat> I grew out my hair for about two, two years before I finally ended up cutting it. And a lot of people always ask me, like, why are you growing out your hair? Or like, what's the reason? You know what? I'm just going to hold this. Sorry, guys. I know it might be a little bit unsafe, but I, I'm, I'm doing my best. I'm, I'm, I'm driving slow. I'm, I'm up. I have my seatbelt on. Uh, I'm abiding by the law. But anyway, they asked me. Like, why, why did you cut your hair? And I was, I'm just like, you know, or why did you grow out your hair? And I'm like, you know, there's sometimes that there's decisions that you make that you don't really know why you do them. Why do you like some girls? She a fine young thing. You know, why you want long hair? For a long time, I always wanted to flip my hair. Like, I remember there's some white kids in my school. They always used to be like, hey, Jake, look at this. Boom, boom, like in, in middle school. And I'm like, you know what? I wonder how it would feel to do that, and I, that's not the reason I did it, but just, just to do it, you know. That's why not? Why did I play basketball? I don't know because I, I like the feeling of spinning around and scoring a layup on somebody. And by the way, I'm a, I, I love basketball. If you play against me, you might have you might have a problem because I will not stop, you know, doing spin moves on you. Anyway, that's for another video. But I grow out my hair. Uh, I started when I did my speech my class president speech back in high school 
grew it out until sophomore year of college and then one day i realized you know i don't i don't need this anymore why did you cut it jake your hair was beautiful jake hey but the same girls that was saying that were the same ones not answering my dms when i had my long hair and then when i cut my hair they're like wow jacob you got a little cut didn't you but why'd you cut it now shut that up man sh sh shut that up shut that up you very well know that you like it shorter and more crisper and here it is and now you don't want to acknowledge it man forget you mr uspa in the building Listen, if you have a decision that you want to make, don't worry about what else, what anybody else thinks. Don't worry about what your mom thinks. Don't worry about what your dad thinks. Don't worry about what your sister, your little brother, nephew, your grandma, your grandma's cousin. Listen, listen. they don't care. I mean, they, they care about you, but they don't care really because it, it doesn't affect them on the inside. You cutting your hair or you growing your hair doesn't affect them on the inside and your change will be, uh, your change will, you'll notice that though, though they'll get used to it. People are getting used to me cutting my hair. Like, wow, Jacob, you look good, man. I'm like, yo, come on, man. Don't give me those type of compliments because then I'll feel myself. Not wrong to feel yourself. Oh, wow, police over there. I hope they don't see me vlogging. 2017. Oh, man, let me drive slow. Anyway, uh, if something's holding you back from a decision, like, you know, you want to get a tattoo or something, man, do what you want. Just as long as you ain't breaking the law, you know right from wrong. And I felt like this was a great move because people, you know, start engaging with me more. Oh, Mr. Uspa cut his head. Let me check out his new first day out video. <clears throat> You know, stuff of the type. But uh, I'm going to pause this video real quick because I don't know how people will feel about a Spanish kid with a camera inside a giant. So uh, I'll be right back. Oh, no. I left my light on. Good thing my battery didn't drain. <clears throat> All right, I'm back after like six minutes of being in there and I got some pollo. Yeah, some Spanish. The translation is chicken for all my fellow people out there not native to the <clears throat> language of romance and i don't know where i was oh yeah cutting your hair blah 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 doing what you want blah 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 this life is way too short man i sometimes i get kind of depressed because i realize life really is short man like yo you could be here and gone tomorrow i was just looking up a list of youtubers who are deceased and 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 death really um it has no it has no boundaries it has no favorite it plays doesn't play favorites because there's there's youtubers that died they had five million plus subscribers there's youtubers that died that nobody even knew about like or their subscriber count was insignificant apparently and <clears throat> just live life to the fullest if you want to cut your hair cut it man you want to dye it purple? You want to dye it green? Do what you want because you don't know if you're gonna be here tomorrow. And and it's not to say don't don't live with that kind of mindset. Oh, I'm gonna die. Like you know, let me just shoot up. No, you can't think like that. You gotta think that you're gonna make a positive impact every day. Because even though people die every day, that doesn't mean you're gonna die today or tomorrow. This is very unlikely. Hopefully, I don't die after making this video. But it's very unlikely. But I you. You gotta understand that you're out of control of your life and, and God is the only one who knows when your time is up. So make the most of every single moment that you have in this life. And what is my plan for the future? I, I, I just wanna make music that involves people, that people can relate to with me, that you know they can feel my pain because they feel it too. I always talk about girls like, man, broken my heart. And that stuff is true. And you're gonna, if, if you sympathize with that, you're gonna feel it in your, in your soul too because We've all been through experiences like that that hurt us. And I don't want to, I don't believe in the ideology nowadays where it's just like, I'm going to talk about Percocets and, and, and drugs and, and this, this or that, just to, to get over these facts. No, I'm going to talk about the problems and how we could get over it together or how the impact makes me feel. Let us discuss and, and open up about these things, you know? 
And Mr. Uspa stands for more than just what you think. It's not about a haircut. It's not about a a certain style. It's not about anything. It's not about. It's about. What can I say? It's about doing what you want. Being the best that you can be. That's what Mr. Uspa is. Mr. Uspa is not a not just a rapper. It's a, it's an ideology. It's a way of life of thinking. Man, that sounds silly, Mr. Uspa. That sounds silly. You're a silly Billy, and I won't follow you because you're a weirdo. Suggesting these kind of things to me. Because it might impact your life. It might change who you are. And that's what I'm here to do. It's Mr. Uspa in the building. No, that jingle sucks. Mr. Uspa in the building. No, no, no. That's for, for song. Mr. Uspa in the building, huh? That's how we're going to end it. All right, see y'all later, little bros.